I'm just so fucking depressed I just can't seem to get out this slump If I could just get over this hump But I need something to pull me out this dump So hello there, and I am Mike commentating for my YouTube background tutorial um, you want to download this template at GIMP Tricks channel just look for how to make a YouTube 2.0 ch uh, channel background and the link should be there and you should use that one so I'm gonna add a tab here because I don't have it added of layers and as you see the image is 1700 by 1300 so we're gonna take our grading tool choose a very reddish color and uh, blackish color that's what we're going to use in the radial FG to BG and you want to put it like in the middle of it so, right there you'll be fine and oh you should just yeah just by you should put it by 850 and 750 because that's the like the middle of it that would be really good and when you got that calculated so I'm going to choose the gradient and pull it up. That would be great. Okay, so now you want to take, you want to make a new layer. Okay. You want to take your <coughs> your text tool. I'm going to make, I'm going to use the tech test. You yeah, have test called test C sign and bold. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use the color like very, very light gray. And I'm doing some of these BG, so it's gonna be um, Chris Anthony. I'm gonna type that in. Chris Anthony. If you got that typed in, you wanna just put a little bit of the size where you want to. And I wanna change. I wanna change a little bit the color into a lighter gray. Perfect. And now you want to um, check on your layers. Hit off to selection. Take your gradient tool and make it very dark, uh, very lightish gray. And my bad, I put in radial. I have to put linear, linear, whatever. And put it upwards or backwards, whatever, however you like it. And you want to select none right now. And you want to hit on movement and you want to move a little or whatever. And now that you got that, you want to go to your layers. You want to um, you want to hit on your new layer right there and you want to hit on filters and hit on light and shadow and hit on uh, you want to hit on uh, I think it's yeah gradient flare make it classic hit on settings put whatever settings you want I don't really care um, I'm just making an example here so I'm just putting settings here. Mm. So put only it. And now it's loading right here in the bottom. Now I'm waiting for that. Okay, now it's loaded. Now you want to move it to whatever position you want, like right there, just where I want it. Just like to the middle of it. And now what you want to do is you want to take a new layer. Okay. Now uh, you want to hit on well, open as layers. You gently used. You don't have to download this template or or fade effect if you have any. I'm gonna delete all the all this just. You know. Now you're gonna take your fade and you're gonna stretch it a little since it's a little bit too small. Stretch it. Doesn't care if it goes out of the image, so just stretch it and move it in. That'll be perfect. Now what you wanna do now is you wanna hit on on layer on your layers. Um you wanna hit on your layers now. And you wanna hit on your text um on your text right. Yep. No. But okay. Sorry for that. I got like a little blackout. Okay. Now I found out here that my lens layer is not good, so I decided just to change it here. But don't worry, I'll put it in fast motion. It's coming up. So here we go. I'm gonna put it in fast motion. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna delete this one. Okay. Now when you got that, you wanna put it up there. Where you want it. You wanna take your text and you just wanna hit on there. And you can transform and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And you want to move your text. Right there. Okay, guys, so stay tuned for part two, which I am going to upload tomorrow.